Hi ladies! Guess what? It's been a month and we're still in lockdown. Our governor said yesterday we've got another couple of weeks of this. How exciting is that? You know, at the beginning it wasn't so bad. We just kind of said, oh, this is kind of nice. Stay home for a week or two, get our projects done. But it's kind of getting long and it's kind of getting old. And, you know, I find myself getting up in the morning and not showering right away and not getting my hair done right away and putting on my makeup and getting ready for the day. I just feel myself getting sluggish and I don't like to be that way and I'm sure you're the same way. This verse um, in Galatians 6, 9, um, I thought about that the other day. It says, and let us not be weary in well-doing for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. As we therefore have opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. So the Bible is encouraging us not to get weary in doing the right thing. You know, this pandemic has just kind of changed all of our lives. And one of our ladies the other day brought by masks. And now our governor said yesterday, we have to wear these now whenever we go out into a store or anything. One of our ladies from church made masks for the entire staff. Whoops, I don't even know how to put it on. Isn't this a beautiful mask? I love it. Don't like to wear a mask, but this is nice. But it was nice of her to make that for our staff. Then we had some folks from church that stopped by the church with some chocolate chip cookies for the staff. And that was something that was nice. And that was something that was encouraging. But you know, you don't have to necessarily make something or do something for somebody. You can just pick up the phone and call them. I love to talk to some of our older ladies and Mrs. Lash is always somebody that I love to talk to. Whenever I visit with her, I walk away feeling encouraged. She always tells me about the times um, when she was younger and at work and she would share the gospel with people and they would get saved or when she was working in the youth group with her husband and just the lives that they touched. You know, I want my life to count like Mrs. Lash's has. And that's just something that I think about in these days. Am I encouraging people to um, serve the Lord and not be weary in well-doing? So I just wanna encourage each of you ladies not to get discouraged during this time, just to put our minds on the Lord and things that he wants us to do. And you know, Brother Gary had a good devotion Thursday night that we posted um, about thinking the right way and not becoming discouraged. And that was really helpful to me too. So I just wanna encourage you ladies, to not be weary in well-doing. So this is my scarf for today. We're gonna call, call this scarf number one. And this was the winner from the last several weeks. It's still in the running. This is scarf number two. So you vote, let me know what you think. Scarf number one or scarf number two. We'll talk to you next week. Have a great week. Love you ladies, miss you.